Safety tip number 10 involves the use of clonidine to counteract the effects of epinephrine. So clonidine, 0.1 milligram is what we use for our patients. I would be very careful not to use more than that. There was one occasion in our office where uh, I was asked uh, to give more clonidine to a patient who was anxious. And uh, with that, I was very busy at the time, and I wasn't thinking, and I said, sure, go ahead. And that patient became a little bit hypotensive and orthostatic after the surgery, so we had to observe the patient for an hour or two afterwards. Nothing bad happened, but I realized that clonidine should not be used as a, uh, to reduce anxiety specifically. It's just a nice, uh, pleasant side effect that goes along with, with the use of that drug. The side effects of clonidine are sedation and bradycardia, which are beneficial in the setting of tumescent lidocaine. <clears throat> it does uh, not impair airway reflexes, so the sedation that it provides is, is safe. Uh, but I'd be, we usually hold the clonidine if the patient has a blood pressure of less than 100 over 60. So if, a, if their systolic blood pressure is less than 100 or diastolic is less than 60, we hold the clonidine until later on during the surgery when their blood pressure tends to go up, then we will administer the clonidine. Also, if the pulse is less than 60, we'll, we'll generally hold the clonidine and not give it until later on during the surgery. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.